Hi, my name is Eden Hutmacher. I'm the community manager of the Open edX project under the Center for Reimagining Learning. And I'm joined here by Nacho mm -hmm. from Universitat Politecnica de Valencia. Welcome, Nacho, to the Open edX Conference 2023. Uh, so we're very excited to highlight um, the project in Spain that's looking to make the Open edX platform the next on-campus LMS in Spain. Can you tell us a little bit about this project? Yes, of course. Uh, we are speaking about a collaborative project between seven Spanish universities, the six uh, public universities of the Madrid region uh, university system and Universitat Politecnica de Valencia in which with funds from the European Union integrated in a Spanish plan that's called Unidigital from the Spanish government, we uh, want to expand the capabilities of Open edX that we find a very, very good platform for MOOCs, for massive courses, to be used on campus. So we, most of these universities, we have an on-campus LMS, for example, Moodle or Sakai, and are some of us we have been using for more than 10 years open edX and others more than 10 years not because it's from 2014 but for almost 10 years and the rest are starting to use it now so we find the open edX interface is incredibly good but it lacks some capabilities that are uh, used in everyday on campus use and we are trying to develop open source, to contribute to the development uh, of these capabilities with this money. And when you say that the Open edX platform currently lacks uh, sufficient support to, uh, for on-campus use, what are some of the features that you're looking to build to help eliminate this gap? For example, we want more detailed uh, statistics uh, for uh, one independent student, or we want to be able to send emails to independent students or for to groups of students. We want to integrate uh, another type of groups that are used in the university classes where a, uh, a teacher manages several students and communicates with them. Or we want to integrate uh, something that is not really for on campus. We want to integrate uh, personalized learning to be able to, depending on some data, send emails to students or some changes in the interface. Uh, uh, for example, for open response assessment, there are a lot of uh, small things that of these seven universities, three of them, Universitat Autónoma de Madrid, Universitat Carlos III de Madrid, and Universitat Politécnica de Valencia, we have been using uh, Open edX for on campus. So with these capabilities that we have uh, found that we would need and that are not incorporated, that are the things that we want to, to incorporate. And these capabilities to enhance student engagement, are you planning to use AI to assist with these strategies? With um, we want the, the best uh, solution that can be integrated with what the community wants. So uh, for some of them, we will use AI, but it's, um, the project is not based on AI. It's based on one thing that I have not said is that we want to align very well with the open uh, development community. So whatever we develop or we, fa uh, we fund uh, is uh, used in next versions. We don't want to develop something only for us that is lost uh, when two or three versions of edX change. So uh, we want to integrate uh, um, AI, but most of the things are not related to AI, are to most, uh, mm, let's say, plain things. I see, okay. And how many learners are you looking to support with this uh, big project? Mm. An approximate amount? You know, I, I, I wouldn't know. For example, Universitat Carlos III de Madrid is already using it for 5,000 students. Okay. And uh, on other campuses, they are waiting to see if they can incorporate in their uh, mm, campuses. M my university, for example, has uh, around 29,000 uh, students. Uh, Universidad de Madrid has around the same. Universidad Politécnica de Madrid has a little bit more. Complutense de Madrid, that's also incorporated, has, I think, more than 80,000 uh, students. So is we don't know how much of these students are going to use it, but if we are able to incorporate what we want, probably we will start using it more and more. Mm -hmm. Okay, and when are you estimating this project will be completed by? The problem is that, is that it's not an estimation. The funding has a due date that is uh, the end of 2023. So we will have to work fast to have everything ready by this time. 
And uh, which open edX partner or provider are you using to help you accomplish the feature development? We have launched uh, a tender, a public tender, that uh, we have just uh, finished the, the part of the, of the offers of the um, providers. And the only provider that has, been, uh, that has presented an offer is Edunex. So we will be working with them in, in this project. And were there specific requirements for the providers that the government tender was requesting, uh, language requirements? Uh, as some of the universities uh, have uh, technical staff that they are not very proficient in English, uh, one of the requirements of the tender was having uh, Spanish-speaking staff. Uh, in fact, the, the tender was published only in Spanish. I sent it to the OpenX groups uh, to, um, to some uh, providers that had demonstrated some interest on it, but uh, telling them that they need to have uh, Spanish-speaking developers because some of the universities requested this. And how are you working with the Open edX, uh, product team to uh, add these features to the roadmap? The thing is that since the start, we contacted Ed. In fact, I was last year in 2022, I was part of the Technical Oversight Committee. Uh, and I think working with Ed and then with Jenna, sending them all the um, um, specifications just for them to know what is we wanted to do. In fact, I translated them into English for them because we want them to, to, to know what we want to do and to align with them. Today, we have been speaking with Jenna that we have to have a meeting in the near term to start working with them so we can do it uh, in a way that is best for the community. Well, we are very excited about this project. This will be a great project for the community, new feature developments as it relates to open edX use for on-campus use cases. Thank you very much, Ignacio. Thank you and we much. look forward to the results. Bye Thank bye. you.